you don't understand quiet time? Sure, I'll eat loud, crunchy pistachios. Yeah, you can eat some. Where's your bowl? You can get your bowl. My child has discovered pistachios. Welcome to the Worst Enemies Podcast, featuring Hendershot and oh, Rafe V. Marill. Welcome everyone to episode 50 of Who Gives a Shit and Why Bother. We're here. It's it's back. It's our triumphant return. Uh, 50% more flavor and less filling. All those good things. You got the bowl? Oh, sweet. This is the time to do this. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Apathy Bi-Weekly, <laughs> the show. With me, as always, is Tristan, and with me four days a week is my daughter. You can see her elbow. Four days a week? That's actually pretty awesome. Well, three, I thought it was always like... Three or four. Oh, I see. Okay, I thought it was always like two, and then it was just like the weekend. Uh, like... Like, it's like a half Friday, a half Monday thing. Kind of, Yeah, that's one of those things, like three days for the... Okay. If it's if school's going on, I'll, I'll take her on a Monday and uh, the weekend, and we'll do that. But she does school at her mom's. School's out. So I get more kid time. Hell yeah. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm getting lots of time before she goes to Disney for two goddamn weeks. <laughs> You're not going to do that thing that, like, I, I always I always despise this when, like, people, like, even parents or something will get this, like, attitude where they're like, oh, they get to do something that I didn't do. Oh, yeah. Very, like, there that are actually people who my do ass. that. Chaps my ass. Well, there's a whole thing, like, it's a whole long story about, like, uh, her mom doesn't really want, her mom doesn't really want to go because the in-laws are fucking insane, but she already, like, kind of promised it. Like, like, hey, go to Disney World, but only if you convert to the Cult of Q. Basically. Like that. Oh, okay. Well, shit. Uh, yeah, our way or the highway kind of thing. And uh, I guess I could have stepped in because you're legally not allowed to take her out of state or 50, like 50 miles away without my consent. And uh, I consented. But I gave the thing like, hey, if you want to blame me to get out of it, go for it. <laughs> go for it. Why? 100% my fault. Jeez. So, yeah, it's I'm not going to be the guy that says uh, you can't you can't go all the way to Florida and not see Squidville. <laughs> that That's what you're really going for. Right. See Squidville live. Who wants Literally, to see live. Disney when you could see uh, fucking... Uh, da- Two da- dudes da- on a tandem. Danny and Arnold. Arnold. You could see... Uh, it's funny that like they have the same initials as Game Grumps. That is, that is pretty interesting. Andy and Dylan. Anyway, how have you been other than dying... <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I've been I've been pretty much dying for a week. I think yesterday was the end of it. You've just Today's had, been pretty normal. You've just had Mozart's re- requiem on 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 loop. You, you know what the greatest thing about this is, Elliot? Tomorrow I get my second shot, so it's like this is just a calm before a potential two day storm. Oh God, what are we gonna do? Well, what are you gonna? I know you're gonna do stuff, but uh, I feel like I'm gonna have to book you three months in advance, which I which I didn't. No, I mean, like, rem- remember, it's it's happening on Saturday, so it's basically just going to be Sunday and Monday, maybe. Hello, it is I, Elijah Tortillas, winner of several prestigious Pokemon awards. <laughs> and, and sometimes Hazelnut Enthusiast. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, Elijah? God damn, he's so funny. And he's cute, I too. Know. Oh? Oh, yeah. Oh, I got yeah. special access to his fucking selfie. No, he posted in the Blunder years. He's like, look at, <laughs> look at how fucking dumb I look. Uh, cutest one here. <laughs> what That's a- right. This is the show where we just force compliments on you and you have to accept them. Yeah. Otherwise, it's considered you're fucking sassing us. Uh, Pigeons, you look like you could totally be a, uh, a, a pit crew member for NASCAR. <laughs> Possibly fill in driver. You talking about me, Lux? Yes, always. <laughs> Yes, always. Every everything is about Lux. It's oh. always about Lux. Gotta Am keep I funny? Working. Yes, cute. Thank also you, Dreamer. Yes. Hell yeah. Appreciate it. How did we do this show before? I feel like uh, we just talked about shit. Um, oh, okay, okay. I think I could do that. What did we miss? Like two days? But it feels like two weeks. 
<clears throat> we missed a Friday. Did we miss? Yeah, all yeah. Of last I mean, week? I think we maybe. Yeah, yeah. I think we did. We wait, we wait, wait. Have... Yeah, yeah, it had to have been something like that. I just. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm just playing with this greasy butter knife, and I need to just get that out of my hands. Too many knives in my hands. I can't <sighs> stop playing. There had to be mayo on it. Had to be. This is a white person's house. There has to be mayo on at least one surface. Mayonnaise. Uh, what's new with me? I switched to keto, and uh, I've saved 15% or more on my car insurance. Yeah, I have to, I have to say that this is the funniest part of, like, the... <laughs> this is the funniest segment of every show, when we're just like, hey, what did you do? And neither of us actually explains what we're doing. We say one thing. Roddy. Friendship the other for everyone. No, this is derailing. This is derailing. You might as well repeat what you just said because Pigeon. Thank you so much, Pigeon, for the day, man. Uh, he played <laughs> thank it you for the day, man. He bought it two minutes ago, and now it's here, and now we're hydrating. Uh, I mean, we'll talk shop a little bit. Like the idea is that we're gonna uh, do an audio-only podcast on top of what we're only doing, so we can actually like get stuff done, and this will be the fun yeah. dick around time with with chat. So more content coming soon. Other to probably this place, and then there's the, a few other places. The Jamerson, to, the Jamerson is in the freezer. That I don't think it's gonna ever go away, Elliot. As I long don't. as there's like five or six people who remember the Jamerson, <laughs> it's just not gonna go away. Our best episode ever, and also, whatever. Anyway. Uh, I don't. I just don't contemplate shit like that. Like, you just do. Uh, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna lean into that one. Okay. Yeah. Again, I'm not gonna day drink with my kid here. Just. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. Oh, clearly, but. I had a point. There was a point there before Dayman happened. I think we should get back to it. You started keto and you saved money. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm already losing weight, which is cool. It's all water weight, but. It shows that it's working. Gotta uh, go first. Yeah, gotta go fast. Sonic X. <laughs> there we go. There it is. <laughs> Sonic. Fine. God damn. People watch this? I'm already yeah. fucking bored. <laughs> Guys, what do you want to talk? Sonic. I think, I think, I think Elliot forgot how to show... And I don't know. I don't know how to fix you, Elliot. How I forgot to print, pretend like I give a shit. And uh, oh shit! Well, I think those are the best. Probably ones, have to though. get back on that. The best ones where we just kind of don't, we don't even. So yeah. Yeah. I'll, I mean, do do we even anyways? Uh, producers. There's like there's a fucking pile of show topics in the show topics section, and we've discussed almost none of them. <laughs> I I was gonna say we really don't give a shit. Clearly, we put it up there. Like, Dreamers posted, like, 10,000 things that would have been awesome to talk about. <laughs> and we just been like, yeah, that's cool, we'll talk. And we don't. Thank you for the thank you for the lurk and the great job on the 50 Dreamer. All the hard yes. work. <laughs> I think I put, I put show topics there just for him. Actually, I, I even complained, like, guys, we have a show topics thing if you want to talk about anything. And he makes it a point to, like, post weekly. And yes. That's, that's about it. And uh, my, my favorite thing is that, like... I don't think he's given up hope. I think he, so, he continues to do so. Well, I mean, two of them, uh, Zoomer pl put a, a game. In, they both they both put some games in that I'll probably play on my own. One is uh, nice. one is Mr. Krabs overdoses on ketamine. So yeah, I've heard of that. <laughs> keep your eyes out for that because I'm gonna beat that in one sitting. Uh, next time I stream, and then we have a uh, uh, spend Elon Musk's money in thirty seconds, and it's oh god, it's not fun because it's just a cookie click. He said he got, I, I actually played both of them. I got about 2,200 uh, Falcon launches as well, Dreamers. Uh, yeah, you can only... You got 30 seconds to spend it all. You're going to go for the most expensive thing. It just turns into a speed click. And I've ruined, I, I, I've ruined a few mouses playing Cookie Clicker, trying to do oh the God. speed clicks. Anybody remember Cookie Clicker? Yeah, Jesus. it's still there. I still play it from time to time. <laughs> I've had to, I just like, like when you get to the grandma part where it just gets... Apocalypse. Yeah. It. Yeah, it just gets out of fucking hand. So um, I, I love Cookie Clicker. And, uh, uh, I've fixed my mouse, though, each time. I've, I've done it. Uh, it basically, like, the, a mouse clicker kind of looks like a telegraph. 
It's yeah. got a lever and a little a little actuator and a button and a little it has a little spring. And what happens <laughs> when you when you super click like that, you fuck the spring up. Uh yeah. you, you can deseed it or you can like bend it and warp it. So all I've yeah. done is I've like it's really tedious to do and you need like jeweler's tools. But you just crack that bitch open and you rebed the spring and you uh you you cuss for about five hours while you do it. But yeah, it's and then and then and then somebody else just goes to the store buys a twenty dollar HP mouse. Oh yeah, I'm not. No, this is this is not a cheap mouse, so I'm not gonna just fucking buy another one. No, I mean I don't. Is it same? Is it the same one? Is it ancient at this point? No, I've had this is like my third trackball. Okay, because I swear that you had like the same thing years ago. Actually, it's my fourth trackball. It's the third of this kind. Okay, I was gonna say, but uh. I don't know. Have they done this yet? But I, I feel like the direction they could go is mm. that they would just have touchpad mouses. Pigeon, I'm gonna see it Saturday. I thought it comes out tonight. Uh, I, think it, I think it did. I thought it premieres tonight, or does it premiere Thursdays? But I'm gonna. I, I saw another streamer was gonna go watch it tonight. So. Yeah. So we were gonna go. I saw it yesterday. Jesus. Well, don't. Spoil okay. It. Never mind. Then. I'm gonna see it tomorrow, and it's gonna be a laugh riot. <clears throat> um. I mean, just going to blow through the show topics, because one was uh, Wisconsin Police Department's going to hire more social workers. That's cool. We should have everybody do that. I wonder what the actual fine print is. We just hired some guy named Gary in a sweater. Gary gets murdered the first day. Oh my god, I still think this is hilarious. Just looking at it and being like, once you get past uh, the uh, ketamine... It's like into like last month, and then it just keeps ramping and ramping up into the previous months. Past the ketamine. Yeah, once you once you get past uh, Mr. Krabs, it mm. just it's like last month, like oh. the middle of last month, and then it just keeps going back and back. Yes, that's how uh, uh, feeds that work in uh, uh, normal time work, Tristan, especially when you scroll up. <laughs> yeah, that that's that's one of those interesting things where you you state an obvious thing, but that's not the point. Hey, there's like Chick Fil A, uh, being <laughs> being kind to dogs is racist. I didn't even entertain that one. I I clicked on the article and I'm like, hey, there's a show. It, look at the look at the. Uh, it's from the NWO report dot me. Yeah, it's like the uh, New just... World Order report dot me. It's made on a web. It's made on a a, a blog site what's that fucking blog site that everyone uses that's free? not to mention the the like new world <laughs> order ever being in anything oh man yeah Creams exactly why like no i'm just like look at the source look at the look at the who what who's benefiting from this it's made on like wordpress but even the <laughs> you guys need to see this okay here we, yeah racist <laughs> Yeah, golden retrievers are racist. Let's just talk about it now. Being kind yeah. to dogs is racist. University professor says, and it's just because she's black, and she mentioned like kenneling dogs is a thing that poor black people can't do. I knew it. So no, I, I actually I actually looked into the author in the book. Yeah, uh, I... and the author like has one major publication like this professor this doctor has one major like publication that's a book and it's about like uh i guess like the quality of life and like the the terrible nature of like uh foster and like shelters and stuff for animals and pets and i think <laughs> what she was saying is that the socioeconomic status has something to do with treatment of dogs yes which I mean, they, I get it. They went and they cherry picked it to be like, if you're rich and yeah, bougie, to be, yeah. if you can do things, if you love dogs, you're racist. And it's like, what the fuck are you even talking about? And uh, it comes from, uh, I'm not going to out her, she posted it in the Discord, but she's a dog owner, she's a dog lover. So it's directly yeah. targeted at her to either mm -hmm. hate black people or liberal elites. And it's like, that's just, that's just some disgusting... Uh, fake journalism no no, no let's let's con uh, control shift t let's just go to this website and look through their fucking topics right okay. uh section 230 facility violates first amendment by subcontracting censorship 
boots are licked after NSA spying on Tucker Carlson gets confirmed. The NSA is spying oh, on everyone. So, fuck you. Uh, Nothing new here. Boots are licked. <laughs> boots are licked by Ty- T- uh, Carl Tuckerson every fucking night on Fox News. James O'Keefe has Twitter on the back foot after massive legal victory against them. I don't even know who that is. I'm glad. As COVID-19 winds down, the flu comes roaring back. The flu actually like never never went away. There were still yeah, never there were still like, there were never... still twenty thousand yeah. flu deaths on top of COVID. But whatever. Here is Trump's legal strategy and lawsuit against big tech. China threatened journalists in North Atlanta investigating CCP infiltration of uh, in high tech area during uh, just anything China. And look at the but look at the look at the. Uh, picture for it it's just communism ah all of the things that capitalism does but we'll put we'll say communism is the problem iraq's our largest oil producer looking to uh exit the country i mean what what the fuck okay poll majority of voters disapprove of joe biden's job performance uh okay some of just like mundane so do i but there's just some like gems scattered in there yeah it was a lot more it was a lot more slanted the last time i looked at it did they did they get some lashback where they're just like oh shit i guess if we're gonna be the new world order we actually have to (laughs) fucking pay attention to what's going on in the world i think they also took down the part where it says it's uh written on a wordpress for (laughs) for and hosted for free yeah, blog at wordpress.com. Yeah, people, if you're going to get your news, do oh, okay, here's one. Abductions and car vandalism, startling Australian Uf- UFO report classified. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, that actually one thing. Tyson recalls 8.5 million pounds of chicken over contaminated fears. Contamination fears. An actual new, uh, the one thing in here that's news is the chicken recall. Well, they they also they also mentioned like uh, Japan warns that they'll defend uh, <laughs> Taiwan against China, and I was like, that may be news. Uh, here's one: pure evil. UCSF's baby part harvesting operations. Oh God, this shit again! Exposed in recorded <laughs> rec- records obtained by pro life group. Did you know that they take babies hey, and they put them in parts? Can we call and they the, the stems- yeah? Can we can we call the 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 uh, pro-life people what they are anti-abortion that's well yeah it. that's there's, what it is there's it's nothing not... there's nothing pro-life about them no i mean plus it's very difficult for a person to actually be pro-life let's just be honest oh i actually want to see this 13 year old boy dies after covid vaccine the cdc is investigating It'd be like 13 year old boy dies after getting hit by a truck uh, after a week ago today brother's 13 year old son brothers my brother's 13 year old son had a second covid shot less than three three days three days later he died the initial autopsy uh done friday that his heart was enlarged and there was some fluid surrounding it i don't think that happens in three days well not in three days but there has been reports and this is from major news sources that male some males have a tendency depending on the vaccine to have like oh. sort of like pain like around the heart as a result of this oh, shit. but like I not like this shot. there okay here's the article it's a paragraph and two tweets that's it this is not journal- yeah. this is not journalism no uh, this is this is see if i can this is the death of journalism where no one actually did you think to call anybody did you think to like ask any questions did you think to like hire an investigative journalist journalist to do actual journalism no okay and the kid's dead no so that sucks whatever it, uh, it just all we need is a headline and a picture that's news that's not what matters though exactly See, oh yeah yeah it's not about it's not about, yeah Dad, so <laughs> daddy's on his soapbox again so like the fda uh, this is uh, CNBC, and then there's Heart.org and That's CDC all talking about how um, there are rare cases of heart inflammation as a result of the vaccine. But re- remember, it's rare, and it's one of those things that 
I understand why the CDC is like, hey, let's not blow this shit out of proportion like we always do. Yep. Because then people won't get vaccines. It's just you need to know the reality that that is a it's a small probability, right? Right. That you also, will get he's, heart inflammation. He's, he's 13 and it hasn't been approved for people under 18. Yeah, yet. exactly. That's another thing. Like you have to read the rules. All right. And we're trying to like get these things out quickly. Shit happens. Hey, farmer. What's up, farmer? What's up? Anyway, climbing down off my soapbox. It's about more than just clicks, Lux. It's about getting poor people to fight each other while the rich fucking do whatever they do. Exactly, Dreamer. That's 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 why I like Dreamers because it goes into the information and is just like, yes, it happens, but you know, zero point five percent chance. And of it was blood like clotting. it was blood clotting in like pregnant women who are already at risk yeah. of blood clotting. So it's just like a slightly increased and, chance. And people who are like at risk of blood clotting. Yeah. Uh, shit happens. And men as well. Pregnant men as well. Got yeah. it. <laughs> well, no, I mean like the heart inflammation has been shown to be more in men. Right. And especially like so younger men. Can we say like, hey, the uh, the, the vaccine's like 95% effective, right? And people are yeah. like, that means it's 5% lethal. 5% people are going to die and that was a thing. That was a thing that we had to deal with. You're right, right. No, that means, that means you that have means... to get the thing. <laughs> that... There's no guarantee you'll die. That was it. You know, it's like 5% of people might not like get covered by the vaccine and that's it. You want to know you want to know a better That's thing. more We've that's more this. lethal than COVID. <laughs> We've talked about this on stream, but like the whole idea that like surgeons and stuff have to go through <laughs> If there's like even a five percent chance of like success, you're right. In that case, the surgery might actually be ninety five percent lethal. Right. Because you only have a five percent survival rate. Hey guys, like you know what else is ninety five percent effective? Band aids. <laughs> Band aids. Five percent of them kill. You don't know shit of them. They could be torn. There could be shit underneath already. Right. It's you could have some anthrax in the glue. Yeah. Oh man. Okay, but uh, of course men could get pregnant. Have you seen twins? Yeah, Danny DeVito. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> was not a great. Danny DeVito was not a great baby. <laughs> not a great baby. Oh man. Okay. Well, I feel I feel a little bit better after we rail after I railed on some some bullshit for five minutes. Hundred percent effective mommy kisses on on great knees. <laughs> That's a campaign, right? Yeah, ninety-eight percent of all airbags work on impact. Does that mean that two percent kill on impact? Exactly. Exactly. There's not. Yeah. Yeah, ninety. A two percent are filled with broken glass. And uh, rusty, <laughs> rusty nails. It's like it's like an Acme parachute. Half of them were all anvils. Those uh, um, or, uh what was, like those stupid wardrobe. measures. Oh my god. Guys, guys, share some stupid shit you've heard recently. Just what? What's the dumbest thing you've heard? Uh, <clears throat> I am super busy nowadays with work and the weather allowing for outdoor activity and all, but I still support the cause. Miss you guys. Oh, I missed you oh. too. Yeah, we were gone for a minute. Uh, mm -hmm. My angina was flaring up. I had a I had a bad lumbago. <laughs> I had a I had a. I had, a, I had a case of the gout. The gout? This year, you're over here dying of old man diseases, and I'm next. Yeah. Your vagina yeah, I... was flaring out. <laughs> it, it was looking for something to grab. My, my, my vagina was pulling a little shop of horrors. The case of the bobo. <laughs> case of the bobo. I don't even know what that means. Hey, Lux. <laughs> oh, man. It's my two favorite Europeans. Uh, fight over number one. Fight over number one. Here, I'll throw his broken cue stick. <laughs> yeah. Just been a week of feeling like shit. And now we're back. Grand key. And I'm just reading chat. My in-laws won't get this computer can handle it. My in-laws won't get the vaccine since their doctor said she knows how to cure it if they don't get the vaccine. Yeah, drink bleach. Do the do doctor knows how the doctor is not suggesting. 
My, oh. I'm just, I'm fucking appalled when that happens. You oh, know what I'm God. saying? Like when somebody who's been fucking well, trained. We have a new Nobel Prize winner here, guys. We have a a, a doctor who has come up with the cure. Would you like to come forward? <laughs> like that's, hey guys, doctors don't come up with the cures. <laughs> they administer medicine, but okay. It's a, it's the white trash cure for SARS. It's a chicken noodle soup. A NyQuil and a can of Sprite. Good. St- or if you're in Michigan, Verners. But that's an epic South Park reference right there. You know what I did? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had COVID. You know what they did for me? They gave me Tylenol and Advil, <laughs> and they sent me home. <laughs> Looks could be. Yeah, you got one. that thing. I prefer number two. Scatologically correct, uh, farmer. Scatologically correct. If, if if the doctor knows how to cure it, why is she sitting in this yeah. little little podunk town? That's why I said not, step forth with such directors. knowledge. Because they don't they don't they don't want the people to find out, Dreamer. They don't the 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 the, the five G China virus that was built to get a uh, Joe Biden elected. They don't want they don't want a cure. They want to get they want us to get these vaccines so they can turn our immune systems off from from Ho Chi Minh. I'm just really pissed that, like, because I had to wait, like, you know, oh, yeah. basically a month to get my second one, my Bluetooth yeah. signal has been shit. Oh, yeah. Because, like, they only put in the other half, right, like, later, right? Yeah. But, like, I have no other Bluetooth in my devices because that I'm worried patch. that they'll... Yeah, exactly. Like, I, I can only trust the one that's injected in my arm. Right, right, right. I, I always tell people, like, hey, man, to block the 5G, you just got to turn Bluetooth on on your phone. Exactly. Just is. I love simple it. As that. I'll explain that joke because I love it. <laughs> Your phone is already tracking you, but soapbox, you know, echo chamber. Well, it's the it's the those, the meme with like Leonardo DiCaprio. Those people aren't listening and, uh, right now. Django just drinking, <laughs> and it's your phone in your pocket, and it's him like on top of it. That was one of my favorites out of this whole fucking pandemic. Five G horse. What is Snopes? 5G oh, horse, snow. dude. A horse made of 5G energy has been appearing on our lawn, <laughs> staring at our home. Fuck yeah. Oh god. Why is this on Snopes? <laughs> because probably because somebody actually thought it was real. Oh my god, that's awesome. I think Snopes only doesn't Snopes only do this shit if it gets enough weight that like they actually have yes. to fact check it. So like, <laughs> want a horsey too? Yeah, I want a five G horse. Dude, how much vaccine do I need to get to like have like a grizzly bear? Uh, probably a lot of vaccine, to be honest. Oh my god. Oh, oh man, it's good to laugh again, guys. I don't laugh uh uh Wednesday or Thursday. Or the, yeah, or, there, or, or, no the, or the weekends or Monday. I just hate fun. And you guys really bring the fun. I refuse to get the vaccine because I don't want the government to track me. Do you, do you have a smartphone? Uh, yeah, why? <laughs> I got an <laughs> iPhone. <laughs> you think I got one of them shitty bullshit <laughs> androids? <laughs> Steve Jobs, R.I.P. You imagine like if you're like ultra conservative and like ultra like like uh, hillbilly, but like you were super Apple Apple fan. Oh god, Things yeah, that, that's like your thing. I was down at the Starbucks with my iPhone S11 12 and <laughs> getting my Vente latte. Like, are you saying basically if somebody <clears throat> from a rural setting was heavily into Apple as opposed to, like, fixing cars? And like, Apple of, was their thing? And one of these blue hair said, Sir, you can't smoke in here. And I said, I thought this was America. I should just Alex Jones. I should oh, just, yeah. I should just full Alex Jones. People that think they're the turning will the track fucking them. frogs gay, Aren't but like tracking. I mean, the well, people they are, but like for less nefarious things than you think. Like so, when that when the uh, here's here's the fun part, right? So when the insurrection happened, right? They're like, hey, uh, you said you were on vacation, ex police officer from New York, but you were actually at the Capitol. Here's how we found out: we have red light cameras tracking your license plate all the way from New York to the Capitol. We have your cell phone on inside the Capitol. It's like, there's other shit. Hey, uh, GMF is now lurk, king and queen of lurk. Thanks for the lurk, buddy. 
but uh, but seriously, like they them. they they kind of showed their cards a little bit, things that we already knew. Love you too. But the FBI is least like, no, here's like the five other ways we track you, finding you here, dipshit. Also, they, then they said like, hey, if you had a cell phone on in the Capitol that day, you're you're gonna. They already know you. They already know where you're at. They already know who you are. Yeah, they already and, know. And you're on the list. That's awesome. Like, and it's like, no, my cell phone's gonna do it. Yeah, <laughs> or no, no, the the vaccine's gonna do it. See it a while, but yeah, this is just an echo echo chamber. I'll drop it. But uh, it's I a, mean, yeah, we can go on and on. About it's it. an echo chamber for chat. But if you if you're out there listening to this on 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 Spiffy in, in five years, just you know this. <laughs> I don't like you very much, sir, Dennis. Dennis, sir. Any other name that apparently Den- <laughs> fits the bill? In five years, Dennis is gonna flip his shit. Oh, that's gonna be the great, like the greatest. When you get to like uh, so many episodes, you get like two hundred, three hundred, and there's just a collection of people who are willing to go back to five to uh, find the one thing. Yeah, Sam. <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna watch. Hey, Zoomer, what's up? <laughs> I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch episode Hello. one. And all we did in episode one was say, like, if this becomes a thing, <laughs> and it became a thing. Yeah, she said we looked younger, which is. Oh God, that's just a sign that it's working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh. The man. the older we look, the more we know it's working. And you can tell by like episode like four hundred and everything's gray that it worked in full. Ah. You know the weird thing is I thought I had. I thought I the other day I had a topic and now I just can't remember. I was pretty I was pretty heated about something. I can't remember what it was. Hello, gamer. Yeah, try to think of it because uh, I I can't keep this. So, it's I can't I can't keep all the five G going. In, I know, two, in I know. two in two minutes we have a sound alert coming in. So <laughs> I know I I'm gonna wait till that's over. No, I'll tell um, you I'll tell you when it play. You can't hear it. So oh no, it'll pop up here on the screen. Oh yeah, it's playing. Oh yeah. You... So um. <laughs> God. Molly Percocet. Oh my god, you guys. This... Oh god, that's what a reference. Uh <laughs> Okay, okay. Again, Elijah just killing it. Like hello gamer at not a zoomer. Oh man. Yes, Lux is here. Now kiss. <laughs> I made I made the dogs kiss. <laughs> Some five year old just fucking around. I got it. yeah. Even... <laughs> kisses not. But uh, no, ki- kisses. You, you guys, oh shit! It's you guys get live. to choose. There we go. You guys get to choose which one's which. <laughs> but I'm thinking this fucking sassy Clydesdale. That's gonna be. Oh hey. What's up? <laughs> oh hey. What's up? When when are we going to the park? Uh, after my show. But not if you keep Bruh. asking questions. Bruh. You already know this. We already talked about it. And now you're sad? <laughs> I just want to thank there we go. and every one of y'all. It's the... It was the best... I didn't have any just... objects. I just had to be like... It's still real to me, damn it! <laughs> uh, Elliot's actually got the models for the job. Oh, they're pretty awesome. accurate. They're pretty lifelike. Yeah, I don't, I don't have any... I don't have any... Like, there's a calculator and a drawing stylus. What am I doing? They're not really compatible. Talking, talking to my friends. No, what you were doing was I'm trying to think. Five-year-old vacationing in North Myrtle Beach uncovers megalodon tooth. Oh, yeah, and there's, how, much, how much would the tooth fairy give for this one? That's a tooth from an old dead shark. Yeah. The megalodon. It's like basically a dinosaur. Have you seen the size of my udder? Hmm? Uh. <laughs> How they You're, got it? Like found it at the beach. Oh. Is a uh, is is the udder the entire organ? I've never looked into if that's if if it's plural for a reason or if it. You know what I mean, Elliot? Like, is the udder the entire organ, or is udders just every single individual like? I don't know, but I know how to I know how to uh, milk, and that's all I know. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but I don't I... know how it works. But I know you gotta wash your hands before and after. 
I mean, that feels right. It feels like you should do that before any type of work like that. Have you seen the size of my udder? <laughs> I just oh like the God. I just like the, oh, the individual udder here. Can we have the fan art? Can we please have the fan art of like the, uh, Lux's like minotaur minotaur heifer, and he's just given one of these <laughs> poses, and he's just got his like udder exposed, maybe with like a nice like like double bikini thing going on. Mm. <laughs> Thinking a little cow nose, right? Little ears and antlers. But Thank Lux, you, Dreamer. Lux's Thank you for face. pulling the producer. It's an organ and formed by know. two or more, uh, uh, two or four mammary glands on the females of dairy animals and ruminants such as cattle, goat, and sheep. The under is a single mass hanging. <laughs> mm. The udder is a single mass. Mm. Because because I people say it plural all the time. Oh yeah, because there's like there's more than one teats. But that's that's like the udder is the whole thing, which yeah. that would just be. That's why I'm okay. saying it's like but it's not plural. But that but... that makes sense that each teat is its own thing. Like like each teat's a boob. That makes sense. Udder is. Uh, it's singing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is like, but but it's the same thing where you just get used to saying it and it makes sense, right? It, People it... probably think udders is the like individual parts other than the whole <clears throat> the mass. So the cool thing about ruminants. Uh... Let's talk about farmland for a minute, right? All right, let's let's talk about farmland. So I can talk about that. There's this whole thing about like, oh man, there's the seven hundred liters of water that it takes to make your uh, your Big Mac, right? And all this grain that goes into feeding the cow to make your Big Mac, right? We could just yeah. drink that water and eat that grain. Well, here's why: it's bullshit. <laughs> okay, so when a cow drinks water, it inevitably pees, and that pee goes into the water table and is filtered back into water so you don't actually lose water so you could say like maybe the energy from pumping the water but you know they also like get water from like drinking yeah. like uh that water isn't just from them drinking it's the water that waters the grass when it rains which i don't is know who the... the other part the who... other fun part is like we should just use their land for for crops and stuff well uh two-thirds of our farmland is called ruminant that's why they're called ruminants it is unfarmable, but you can take animals out there to eat the grass and eat the vegetation, mm -hmm. and it'll regrow, right? So even if you stopped the cattle industry entirely, like, there's two-thirds of our land that doesn't do shit that we need to actually, like, feed to cattle. Uh, there's the other fun one. What's up? The third fun one? How do mama cows That's make weird. baby cows? Chat, can you answer this for for my? Yeah, chat. She wants to know how mama. Hey, dreamer, cows... can you uh, can you go find an article real quick? <laughs> Hydrate. Hydrate. But well, uh, I'm gonna ask chat. I'm just gonna I'm, constantly I'll tell do you it as soon as they tell me. Hydrate. Okay. Okay. Good idea. So yeah, there's this. But, uh, it's this whole misleading thing about uh the cattle industry, and they're like, oh well, they, they used to be like, well, they fart methane and that, that kills the ozone. Well. No, they actually burp methane, and now they're they're actually saying, oh, they're actually corrected themselves on the burping methane thing, so they don't look completely like fools. Uh, but like the whole cattle industry pollutes like way less than like coal or cars on the road, well, yeah, or anything like that. It, it wouldn't make a dent if we got rid of it. So we kind of like vegans aside, like we kind of need animals to like go harvest that land that we can't grow food on. Like there are people who I was gonna, can't. I was gonna say there's there's one thing we need to be clear about that I don't I've never heard any of this stuff. I do know it's true that it takes it takes way way more wasted energy to do this than it does to just grow yeah, crops. But to grow crops, like I said, we can only grow crops on a third of our fine farmland. That doesn't feed America. No. You actually need the beef industry to feed people. There are people like, but, but, oh, uh, more people should be vegans. Like, well, you can't just afford to be vegans. People can just, people need to eat what they can afford. And that's... Well, again, I think there's also some things that's misleading and part of the equation that we're not talking about. This would also mean that we would convert all of the farmland, the massive amount of farmland, especially in the Midwest, that is specifically used to create food for these cattle. You have to factor that in. Yeah, that is a still, massive amount they, of farmable they land. They already have, and it's not enough. I mean, I've, I, from, from, from the sources I'm pulling from, they've already done that, and that that one-third of farmland doesn't do it. 
Thank you. So it's like that that massive amount of uh, cattle crop that we see. Like it's just because we see it in our backyards. Uh, yeah. That that goes to cattle feed. Like there's still way more of that. Like out in the plain states, that just is only usable for 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 cattle. Yeah. Uh, so like that that little bit of farmland that we use for corn and stuff is like to to. I mean that's for feedlots, which I don't agree with anyway. I well, mean, it's also not a little amount of land. Like that's a, but the majority of what's grown com- in comparatively, the though, like again, the two thirds that we can't use, we can't we can't grow anything there. Kiddo, can you please stop? Well, and also it's it's we spend a lot of time shipping and moving shit, and not actually like leaving it where it belongs and producing more of it. So part of our problem is the whole shipping transportation and the loss of product as a result. Like, there's a lot of things that go into this other than that, too. Like, the logistics of it are, if you could just keep things within your means in your area, or at least better them, you do a lot better. But a lot of it has to do with, like, like again, the logistics of moving a lot of shit around and losing things. I think there's, I think, I think it's, it could be pretty balanced, to be honest. Also, land could be repurposed. It just takes time. That's right. that's the concern is the time but that it would that's, take. If if you did that, it takes time. Like there's there's a massive like let's say it's two thirds of Americans or two thirds of whoever's buying our produce, everything. Those yeah. people don't get to eat now. Like that's that's just not how that works. Like you don't just slowly turn like we've 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 dug our graves, we have three hundred and thirty million people in America, and if you want to get rid of some of them so things are better, you can't just like turn the food off. You can't do the Thanos snap. You can. Yeah, but you wouldn't be turning the food off. There's ways to do this without turning the food yeah, off. But you, again, it's like it's I don't like, trust. No, it's, but I don't trust anyone who's in power to actually do any of this. Well, I don't trust them in power either. But it's just like the 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 stupid shit that you would say like in the because uh, I love renewable energy. That's the way to go. But it is really really dumb to say, hey, turn it all off right now and just switch. That's not how it works. Unfortunately, it's right. going to be this un- Again, terrible, you know, slow process right. that actually may already kill us. You, but could, you could use still. that two-thirds of land for other things, but then that doesn't replace our food source. And that one-third of land like that we use... Like making it acceptable for food source. You can do this, Elliot. You know this as somebody who grows shit. Acceptable. You basically take shit that's soil and make it good. It is a lot and of that's work. Not like, and that's terraforming that you, as an ecologist, would be against. That's terraforming. I'm not against terraforming. Yeah, that's like like think of all the bugs and everything and all the ecosystems you're gonna you're gonna squash out. No, no, actually that that wouldn't happen. And the reason I know this, as somebody who really follows like the Xerxes Society, the actual only inhabitable land in those areas that are what would you call them? ruminated lands? R- ruminant. Ruminant lands are the actual ditches near them. Like the thing is, is a lot of those things are dead. That like especially because they're just grass for cattle feed and stuff, right? They're not heavily populated. That's the thing. Like farming land is it just is not it's not acceptable for the majority of life except for some choice invasive things, some pests, things that you know are very stalwart. But the number of stalwart things in like an actual area is very limited because things that are native generally require specific plants. They require specific like ecosystems to function. There are small parasitic wasps that only target certain, um, generally they're pests too, certain like larva of bugs. There are certain um, butterflies that only like their larva only eat certain things. Like for example, the the milkweed for monarchs, right? There's a lot of like nuance Aubrey, to this. Please. Right. Uh, and instead of doing that, it'd be a lot more advantageous to do vertical farming or uh rooftop farming than to actually like try, do to, that. try to return like try to take this ruminant land which is largely untouched it's it's just for like cattle it's not we don't really do anything there we, we just bring ship our cattle in they eat collect them we move them back there's not a lot yeah. there's not a lot going on there there's a lot of field stones it's uh it's a huge effort to do that rather than to just like enter the the modern the modern era well, I mean, if we were farming. entering the better era, like, you also have to factor in how much land is wasted on dumbass lawns. Oh, for sure. I dumbass hate... fucking lawns. I'm sorry if I'm you guys love fan. your lawns. It's totally cool, but I am not a fan. 
Neither. Um, I'm not a fan. Okay. Here's here here's my hot take. I'm not a fan of lawns. I'm not a fan of uh, graveyards. I'm not a fan of gra- graveyards either. I'm not a fan of parking lots. <laughs> Don't touch my lawn. <laughs> Dreamer is just there, shotgun in hand. The only the final lawn. It'll be a movie. And I'm not a fan of parking lots either. And if we have uh, self-driving taxi services that can circle the block and come back and get us, we can get a uh, we could get away with. Uh, we could have like a nice little park there or something. You, you know what I love about this podcast, everybody? That like. When when me and Elliot put the shit together, deserts. There's, there's, it ends up a lot better. You know what I'm saying? Like because it's like yeah, we don't have to get rid of the meat industry and stuff, but things can be done on all fronts right. to make everything better, as opposed to um, like just saying it, it has to keep going and, and we I'd can't change it. I'd love to get I'd love to get rid of feedlots. Like I wouldn't get rid. Of, I oh, wouldn't yeah, yeah. I wouldn't terraform ruminant land at all because I want <laughs> I want more ruminant land. I want to take those those massive uh swaths of of corn that we use to feed cattle and I want to replant ruminant land there and let them graze. Uh I want cows to be healthy. Like there's Australian uh cows that are like all grass-fed and they're much smaller, they're much happier, they're much healthier. It takes a lot mm-hmm. less antibiotics. It means the price of beef's going to go up. Uh, I also don't, I'm not super keen on lab beef yet, especially because, like, as someone doing keto, I know, like, how macros work and uh, Mm -hmm. that you actually do need fat to live. There's this thing called rabbit flu, also called elk. Elk flu or rabbit starvation happens in the winter when all you can find is lean meat. Uh, When all you can find is, like, small game uh, or elk, which is super lean. And uh, you you slowly you slowly die of essentially scurvy oh, yeah, the because you're not getting enough fat. So I just don't trust people who are like, hey, this is lab meat. To say like, they're gonna say like, hey, fat's bad. Let's make all protein lean lab meat. Well, that's also why I don't necessarily like um, vegan meat options as well. Oh yeah, there's just uh-huh. not they're not healthy yet either. It's just like you can process a bunch of bur- like meat and be like, oh, this is bad for you. But like they've done that with the vegetables now. They've just processed it to like beyond the point of food that impossible burger tastes good though i'm not I'm i just i'm not gonna i have this there's this weird fetishism though it's like it's not healthy like don't claim it's healthier because it's currently not healthier but it's like it's like vegans or half vegans or vegetarians who like who want that like wet dream of eating meat who aren't actually gonna go do yeah. it it's like stop making like tofu wings and shit stop making uh vegetarian things that look like meat please like if you abhor eating meat, don't then go pretend to eat meat. Well, and that, that's what. That, yeah, exactly. That creates this weird cognitive dissonance. It creates this weird, like. Um, and I, like, there's an. Like, I, can, I hate to interrupt. I, but I hate to. Yeah. I hate to interrupt. But like the, the other argument is like, well, how about we give meat eaters a healthy option, right? A healthy vegetable uh, vegetable option. Those sh- that shit isn't fucking healthy. The Impossible Burger isn't fucking healthy yet. And no, like, no, a soy not, wing, a soy fucking chicken wing. There's no fucking way that's healthy. Well, and and my big concern is that it creates this this issue psychologically that you couldn't actually give up the thing for for betterment, anyways. You know what I'm saying? We'll you didn't actually later. give up the thing. You chose an alternative that looks the same way. Cruelty it, free. It's just weird in my mind to take like uh like not the real thing and accept it and still be attached, technically attached to meat, right? Right. Like. It's weird to me. It, it's like, it's I not don't like know. we're not just subbing rice for cauliflower rice here. We're like, we're pretending this. We put a stick and a block of tofu, and it's put some put some uh, buffalo sauce on it, and we're gonna pretend like it's a fucking wing. Well, ju- just accept it. Like, just accept it as cauliflower. Right. I mean, there's you know, that. And... Like, that's a small substitute where it's like we're gonna make the cauliflower palatable, but we haven't then mm-hmm. turned it into something that's insanely like beyond its. Uh, what about I, I don't care about it like being used as like just cooking accept thing. the like, grains don't make bread that's that's the same that's the <laughs> no, same kind no, of logic cause but uh, no because like w- w- like making, what i mean is that making an animal it's like okay let's make this corn cob out of like out of gumballs i guess i don't know let's make this uh this 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 meat product that's not meat i don't know but it, it's gonna look like it it's gonna look like a chicken leg right yeah it's gonna look like a burger patty uh, well, but but like that's why like when um when I was at the dorms back in university, they'd have this day right where they had a, a vegetarian burger. Okay. But you looked at it right. 
they didn't change the look of it. You knew it was pressed corn and grain and everything. It looked like that. Okay. I'm totally okay with that. It, it, you do the same thing with the meats, right? I mean, but they're not disguising it. They're not like, hey. Pressed corn, man. That's not fucking healthy. Pressed corn no. on a meat bun. Like, the, like that's, that's the thing. Is like, this is the vegetarian. Like, there's, there's the guys. There's that thin little slick. Like, this is the healthy option. This is the good yeah. thing to do. When it's like, oh, no, it's not. You, you should. I mean, see, I'm just. Okay. I'm just saying. I, like, I don't I care. Say what I'm, I say I'm keto. Do, I'm, I'm, I'm low carb, high fat. You should see the like the plate of food I made. It was all greens. Yeah. It was all vegetables because like I had high fat, a high fat protein, right? And then I had a bunch of vegetables, and it, it was all like healthy stuff. That's like not. I mean, okay, the the meat was lunch meat because I'm also poor, but yeah. Uh. There's, I have to make those. I have to make those uh, uh, sacrifices against. I, I, I guess. My favorite part about this podcast is how intelligent you guys speak. Sometimes, what makes me feel like a dummy. Hey, Elijah. Half the time, we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. And like most of the time, we actually just admit it and say it, right? You I know, have like. A lot. <laughs> I mean, okay. and uh, like that's exactly what it is, Lux. That's I how I feel it. Alon, Alon is a waste of land, but like. I want to do the like. I want to plant. I want to do like the Xerxes thing. I want to like plant stuff that's useful, and then yeah. plant and then plant like my 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 garden, so I can eat, uh, eat more affordably. Eat something uh, that I have prepared myself. That's not. I mean, I would say covered in pesticides or GMO, but I don't like tastier because like, let's say yeah. an heirloom. I fucking hate tomatoes because they're just bland. Uh, how about like heirloom stuff i can choose crops that are actually flavorful i could like let jalapenos go until they're red the way you should yeah like i could let things like ripen on the vine and then eat them as i see fit and if you're if you're insane you can wait till they're stressed as well oh yeah so they're even worse oh the checking <laughs> the checking comes before the red but that's just oh no I'm, not that's just because i'm a checking. great that's because i'm a great gardener <laughs> oh yeah yeah what do you mean by stressed Oh, it's it's not checking like like literally, uh, they, things can grow far like long enough that they actually start to develop lines. Yeah, that's, from growth. Yeah, I mean that's like that's checking on a pepper is like it's just got so swole it's got stretch marks now, like it's yeah. just, it's burst its skin. Yeah, w when they get swole, they get hotter. Oh hell apparently. yeah! Oh hell yeah! That sounds awesome. <laughs> and I and more, at this point, oh, well, they've had more time. That's to another make, thing I got had more time to make capsaicin then basically yeah. yeah and you've you fed them um, with nutrients it, uh, more photosynthesis photosynthesis is such a it's just such a magical process dude it's such a great scientific process like you look at a tree uh and you look at like the soil and it's like well it's pulled it, it's pulled uh mass from something right where did it pull the mass yeah. like, there's no cavity under the tree uh it's it's roots go into the soil they're only pulling up water and uh and, and micronutrients the mass of a tree is the carbon in the air isn't that fucking crazy dude that like oh yeah that, that it pulls uh co2 and it gives off o2 right that carbon is deposited in deposited in the tree as like as as flesh essentially oh it's you know that's that's actually uh there's also another thing of like apparently when we lose the most weight uh sleeping exhaling co2 like that's why like that's how like mostly how we lose weight is like ex exhaling carbon, because we yeah. we inhale O2 right. Where the fuck does the carbon come from? It comes from us. We give it off. Mm -hmm. That's a weird. That's crazy. I mean, we give off like way too much, but <laughs> yeah, but like yeah. that's why we we give off way too much. But that's why we plant more trees to to over overcome over. Uh, but I mean, we don't. But we could. and We should. Well, and we, we should be really careful about that. I mean, cert, like I said, any of the major projects know what they're doing, but sometimes, like... Oh, yeah. Sometimes the small <laughs> things, like, where people are trying to be very helpful are not. You know, Wait, like, so like, hey, I let's don't... plant more of those shitty, like, ass-smelling, non-native trees right. in downtown. I'm not a huge fan of pretty. the... I'm not a huge fan of the logging industry, but, like even even like capitalism saved that whole thing it's like hey if we cut all the trees down we don't have trees so every time we cut a tree down we plant one and a half trees so every time we cut down two we plant three 
and then we come they back. cut the seed in half and they drop yep. it <laughs> <laughs> so at least that's just a law of numbers like so yes we've clear cut all these fucking swaths of land which sucks and we need to like plant more trees there but uh they at least figured out the numbers to try to get like to try to get a, a sustainable thing uh which sucks because just driving through anything ever just mm -hmm. driving anywhere it's all new growth it's all these skinny ass trees yeah it's all like they're all they're all while. they're all 10 to 20 years old there's nothing I've I have not seen old growth in my life. You might not, depending like I'd have on to where go to Se at. I'd have to go to Sequoia. Like Oh yeah, where you see real old growth. Real old growth. I swear if if anything happens to that, uh <laughs> I'm, get my shotgun. I'm just, yeah, I'll get I'll get mine too. You like, stay off my shit. lawn. <laughs> you stay off my <laughs> Dreamers were taking your lawn. <laughs> stay away from my sequoias. You shouldn't have this. Of yeah, course. exactly. Like I said, he'd be the, the last with the lawn. Oh, but I had to. Last stand. I had to to keep them from falling on it, right? Right. It's no, like I'm going to get that. If you, like, you cut down the trees, but, like, you could replant in better areas. You could plant other stuff, which also produces oxygen and, like, brings in uh, pollinators. I mean, mm -hmm. I think there's some good that we, that can be done. I don't think it's like a, like, humans, we take too much, but I think there's, like, a healthy level where we actually do fit into the ecosystem. Um, I don't know where it is anymore, but well, um, yeah, it's it's been it's been a long time since so, we fit in. I mean, we're shepherds of the forest. Uh, before logging, we would do controlled burns. I mean, yeah, there's logging then, but before industrial logging, we would do controlled burns. We would con we would burn out the undergrowth, and we'd push out small animals to hunt better and to, to forage better. Uh, and that would actually make forests prosper because all that carbon was freed up. That's back into the soil, or it's back into the air. But now it's now it's way past that. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's been a long like, time. In California, like you have to do controlled burns in California, or else you'll have all this dry brush that can easily catch fire. When did the Anthropocene? They did. Begin? They did. Uh, they did a controlled burn in Oscoda. Do you know that? <laughs> when, we were, uh, when we were, I know that the farmers do them all the time. We but... were, uh, but of, of the forest, so we were. Yeah. We we were we were driving through, and everything was burnt out in the bottom. <laughs> And then they came back and they they marked all of the trees with green paint. They like put a put like a slash on the trees. Does yeah. That, does that mean they're getting cut down, or does that mean they're like they're they're left, or they're like? I wish I knew I what that meant. Remember. I wish I knew what that meant too, because I've seen it before. But it's not. But um... it smelled. It smelled wonderful. It smelled like campfire. Oh. It was terrible. Yeah. That, <clears throat> that's a good. I I was trying to look where the. Uh... Anthropocene started, which is basically like the human era in our history. Two hundred thousand, um, but not until like twenty thousand that we've really. No, started. no, I mean w w the Anthropocene is basically the era in which humanity has affected everything to the extent that it's technically our era, as opposed to oh. us being kind of balanced out. So before and it the, seems before the plastic age. Yeah, it seems like. Um, some people say that it or i guess some scholars say that it started potentially with the first um dropping of the atomic bomb and then the treaty mm. afterwards i thought it um, was before that with the first coal plants i was gonna say it probably would be end up being like somewhere in the middle of the industrial revolution would be where right. i would say it there was started. A, there was a dude who like he was figuring out he figured out like burning stuff changes its state they, they didn't yeah. understand how matter and the states of matter worked right so when you burn something does it get lighter what happens like what uh you're turning a solid into a gas essentially right so all the black yeah. smoke that comes off is carbon that's and he, he realized he, he learned this so uh he then calculated like a coal a coal plant or whatever a foundry or whatever it was yeah and he calculated like the amount of of soot or like carbon that they're like burning off per one and then he extrapolated like hey there's probably going to be a population boom there's probably going to be a lot more people in the future there's probably going to be like hundreds of these things let's do that and he calculated like he cal he basically predicted global warming with with basic math i would i need to no one up. believed him though. i need to no well they even if they believed him <laughs> if it was because of uh Ah, well, that's in the future. Fuck them. <laughs> We're industrialists. We're capitalists. We want money now. 
Oh, I want what I need. My, what what was the like, old commercial? It's my settlement, and I need it now. Oh yeah, it's my money, and I need it now. Yeah, there's a, uh, everybody. There's a whole, like, uh, genre of literature called climate fiction now that's gotten so bad. Climate, um, climate fiction. Yeah, it's just it's just uh, fiction that has to do with like Is the like climate all being all apoc um, apocalypse stuff or. Uh, it's it's separated because it doesn't have to be post apocalyptic. It doesn't have. To, it could be like completely as like the state is changing. For example, um, I think uh, N.K. Jemison's The Fifth oh, Season man. is considered a climate fiction book by no. some, and it's very new. I just um, I just rewatched Dread. Oh my yeah. god! It was a great is a great remake or great uh, the seventy seven comic Judge Dread in the ninety five eighties uh, nineties. I know Dread. I know Judge I Dread. Judge Dredd came out before RoboCop, and RoboCop was a response to it. And then the comic books for RoboCop were after the movie. Um, yeah, J Dredd with uh, Carl Urban, with fucking with mm -hmm. with Billy Butcher himself. It was awesome, man. It's like the, the it sets up in like this is Mega City One, and it it stretches from DC to Boston, right? No, it's not the Stallone. It's yeah. Uh, <laughs> I am the law. <laughs> Adrian. <laughs> oh, sorry, wrong movie. This is way more serious. Uh, it's is he's got a recruit and it's her first day. She's taking the test to see if she can be a judge, and she's like telepathic, so she like has to keep her helmet off. That's beside the point. But the whole Mega City one is like we're we're living eight hundred million people in the ru in the ruins of our previous civilization, in these yeah. mega blocks, right? This block that they went to. It's like a, basically a skyscraper uh, the size of a city block that goes 200 stories tall. It, has, it had 75,000 people living there, which is three times the population of my city. It's half of the world's largest stadium. Just living yeah. in this fucking 200 story building that's basically a city. It's it's got like it's got like it's a shopping district and everything. It's it's, it's fairly self-contained. Uh, just trying to like cling on to life like rats on a sinking ship because we fucked up the earth so bad and we're overpopulated it's a great movie guys go check out dread we need to do movie reviews but yeah, yeah no, we... i know you mean climate climate fiction yeah yeah well it's just like uh what's that Idiocracy. i think there was a movie was made of it um annihilation i uh, no nah, is that from the maker of ex machina uh, I'm not sure. I, I know that there's one movie of it, but like the book series, like uh, is his name like Jeff Vandermeer? He made a oh, yeah. whole series. Oh, yep. Yeah, that's the dude that made uh, the dude that made Ex Machina directed it. It's Natalie Portman, some some handsome brown skinned man. The uh, uh, the book series is considered uh, climate fiction in a way. Like I, I don't know. See if, that. I don't know if it goes beyond. British the... American science fiction horror, written and directed by blah blah blah. Can I get a synopsis, please? Not just a. Uh, follows a group of explorers who enter the Shimmer, a mysterious, quant qu quarantined zone, of mutating plants and animals caused by an alien presence. Is that the same? Let's see if it's box office bomb. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I bomb. Dis it was released digitally by Netflix and in, in, in a number of other countries. It was like it was supposed to be huge because like the guy who did Ex Machina. Uh, let's but see like, book series. Go on. I think that I think the reason it it bombed is it's just not one of those things that is easily converted into film format. Um, uh, it's very very obscure. Right. Uh. And it touches on a lot of very bizarre things that Annihil I would... Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer, you were correct. Yes. It's definitely worth lo looking into if, if, you, if, you're, if you're a fan of reading books. Like, a it's a pretty good four series. Four women, a biologist, an anthropologist, a psychologist. <laughs> How's everyone feeling? And a surveyor. Just some just some blue collar ass. <laughs> just... No, they like... They, they, they don't no, even, no, no, they're, I know, they're but... not named. They're not even named. Oh, that's, that's cool. Just, they're right. just called by their job. Uh, oh, cool. Who set 
out into an area and then they like in the movie like there has to be a handsome oh by the way I, I believe the area is like in the florida area too so i'm like oh, of course so, let's start here of course <laughs> like, it's just like is this evolution dude <laughs> Uh, a band did Florida man off... fuck up so hard. <laughs> Pro Florida man senior. causes a rift in time and space. Mutation Thank you for begin. the hydrate, Elijah Tortillas. He corrected. He did correct me at one point though. He's like, "It's Elijah Nutella." God damn it. <laughs> okay, I mean, I am eventually gonna have to 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 rula, to rula. Right? Did I get it? Or is it Torella? And the U is like Toruella. Maybe you say both vowels. I don't know. Uh, mm. Oh, suicides, aggressive cancers, mental trauma. I gotta, I gotta read more. Do you mean Natalie Portman wasn't in the book? <laughs> no, unfortunately. I bu I read I Robot. It had Will Smith on the cover. He wasn't in the book. I was pissed. <laughs> I love when they do movie covers because they just look awful. Oh yeah. They just I. I <laughs> Yo, Daniel Radcliffe is an HP. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm so surprised. <clears throat> it didn't say in the front cover. You, play, you Harry know, Potter played by Daniel. Maybe Daniel Radcliffe. maybe Daniel Radcliffe isn't even a wizard. Shit. Maybe, maybe he's definitely not a Potter. But uh, oh, it, I could see Baby Cakes being like he doesn't do anything with pots and he's not hairy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like... a... I'm sorry, I just got completely caught off guard by this thing on Reddit. What would ads on porn sites look like if the majority of watchers were straight women? <laughs> Chat. Help me out here. I got answers. Yeah, in, in let's the, imagine some stuff. I got some answers in the Reddit, but I won't answer. I won't say that until what? What does Chat think about that? Um, I guess I can. I can vamp. Caring and stable men in your area. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I mean, wouldn't it be like similar where it would just be like whatever word for, like whatever more like not gender neutral term. Or like a dude like hunks or something be like you know they'd start like just throwing out the same shit where they're like hey do you want to meet blank in this blank area to do this blank <laughs> thing to you are you seriously chilling off by yourself oh god yeah <laughs> so some these nah i'm with my girls nah i'm with my girl oh god uh what was the question? It was, uh, what would ads on porn sites look like if the majority of watchers were straight women? Uh, click here for dresses with pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Natural supplements that make your periods enjoyable and cause... <laughs> of course they wouldn't work. If your disappear <laughs> disappears longer than four months, please consult a doctor. I, oh, fucking, I fucking love Reddit. We would like to talk to you about your vibrator's extended warranty. Get bigger breasts with simple trick. And then a gif of badly animated um, growing breasts. Yeah, it'd be a bunch of breast enlargement. <clears throat> or or just... I, even if it was absurd... <laughs> not DILFs in your area. Like, is your vagina not deep enough? <laughs> not deep enough. Is it loose? And, is it like a wizard sleeve? I could just, I could. Yeah, it'd be it, about tightening. They're the so vagina. dumb, right? Right. It'd be about tightening that, tightening that. Pussy. Do you remember the uh, late night extends commercials? Oh yeah. With the guy who's always smiling. This is Bob. Grow your ass and boobs in five easy steps. Yeah. This is Bob, and he's just. And he's like super smiling. Everything's like terrible, and he's just like, but he just got extends. They've got favorite clips and rubber bands to just. <sighs> yeah. That's how they do the Joker makeup. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Then you just hide the guys over six feet in your area. <laughs> <laughs> Ugly men need pussy too. No, no sign up. No bullshit. <laughs> what? I guess I, I, I guess they don't. They haven't flipped. Uh, lonely rich single men in your area. A lot of in your areas. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say it would have to be a lot of that. Just look at a Cosmo. They're already doing all of them. Good point. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it'd just be it'd just be a, a Cosmo, oh like a uh, magazine every single time. Is on he the is he re- is he cheating on? Is your man cheating? It'd be a lot of that. Like, well, here's five ways to not give a blowjob. Well, you know that a lot of the ads would actually be like also um, uh, fetish related, right? Oh yeah, because like you what's know a, they're they're based. What's a straight what's white woman's? What's a straight white woman's uh, fetish? I guess. Um, well, technically, it could be anything, but stables. I mean, there's no boundaries there. But you know what I mean, right? It it would basically the longer somebody watched something, it would start appear. The ads would all probably start appearing that way, right? See you later, Elijah. Tor- all right, t- thank t- you for tortellini. being here. Tortellini. We'll have to see you soon, either on your stream or in oh, yeah. Discord or here. Hey, if it's 1 a.m., I'm probably not going to make it. My bad. If <laughs> it's 1 a.m. Oh, man. <clears throat> Do you remember when that used to be emails? When it was just like oh, yeah. ChristianSingles.com, and I'm like, dude, I never... I know there's nothing that I ever gave off that told you guys that this would be a thing. Why are you? I still need to sign up for farmers only. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they would like my farm. Well, no, maybe farmers they maybe they would. <laughs> maybe what if it's pot farmers only? <clears throat> uh, Seth Green returning as Howard the Duck for What If on Disney Plus. That's cool. I forgot that he was Howard the Duck in the the Guardians movies. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get more water. Oh yeah, I'll I'll just be here holding down. The, just just yeah, hold you know, down the fort. I got it. Pay no attention to the corners of my green screen. I need to tape off the carpet so like this is where the green screen goes. Chat, how are you guys doing right now? I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the all the streamer things. What is up, chat? Oh, be sure to smash that follow button. Oh, and then sub if you can. If you know anyone who's not following the Worst Enemies podcast, you need to fucking you need to hound them to the ends of the earth. Oh man, go subscribe to our YouTube page, and uh, I'd this is where I'd plug my Twitter if I had one. That's it. That's all I can do. Uh, what are the... Uh, the truth about... <laughs> that's my... That's, that's my... The phrase I hate the most is, uh, in, in any title is the truth about... The truth about why I'm not going to click this video. Because I know you're just... You're, you're clickbaiting. I, get, I gotta start clickbaiting these titles a little bit more. Uh... Too hot guy. I can't. I don't know how to clickbait the worst enemies podcast, but eh. oh shit! Oh shit, chat. We're looking at this. This is super important. We're gonna test your cat knowledge. <laughs> Cat. Did you know the word cat refers to a family of uh, meat-eating animals that includes tigers, lions, leopards, and panthers? Yo, same, what's up? Something about puppies. This is the part of the podcast. If you're on YouTube, uh, Tristan's gone to get a drink. And also, I can't see him, so he's probably going to sneak in. He's And he's probably going to sit there not like talking. And he's going to see how long I do this. But whatever. Uh, he's he's covered his he's covered his webcam. A bunch of uh, astro <laughs> a bunch of astrology commercials. I just can't, you guys. There's so many people into astrology on Twitch, and I just I don't want to offend anybody, but that that is nonsense. It is some it is some bullshit if I've ever seen it. I mean, don't don't get me wrong, Lux. Tarot tarot works. That's a hundred percent right. But astrology, Ugh. you keep making those cards, man. They look nice. They're pretty. Uh, more 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 vaginal uh, <laughs> Easter eggs, please. A, a cat is pregnant for about fifty-eight to sixty-five days. A cat can take 
uh, a cat taken far from home can return to it, but if a cat's owner moves from home, it, the cat can't find them. A cat can spend five or more hours a day grooming himself. But what about herself? It is estimated that cats can make over 60 different sounds. Thank you for, thank you for laying this out so easily legible. <clears throat> a cat can live 20 or more years, but the average lifespan is 14. Yeah, a cat, cats should live to be like 20 or 25 if you actually fed them what cats eat. So stop feeding them corn cereal. That'd be pretty cool. Um, also, I'm not going to pay to like feed a cat really nice. So I guess I'm not going to own a cat. Cats with white fur and skin on their... Okay, white fur and skin on their ears are very prone to sunburn. Thank you for... Again, legible. My cat likes frosted mini-wheats. Fuck yeah! <laughs> Your cat is Dreamer Jr. I fucking love frosted mini-wheats. Oh, don't get me started, man. I'm on keto. I have all sorts of the cravings. Hey, hey, we're learning about cats. I see that. Yeah. And I misread the... Uh, <clears throat> I uh, I misread the cats take between 20 to 40 breaths a minute as they take 20 to 40 like minutes between breaths. And I'm like, <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> they just hold it. They come up for air like a beluga. Cats can jump seven times as high as that. Oh, call. shit. Then uh, there's going to be... Dreamer Junior Junior. Dreamer Junior Junior is having kittens. <laughs> Should be here in two weeks. Shit, son. Oh, you're damn. gonna be a dad, and then I'm never gonna see you again. Actually, you're gonna you're gonna start. We're gonna have another viewer in the Worst Enemies podcast because I know you're gonna be like bottle feeding to us. <laughs> Ways to pet. Uh, oh, cat tail speak. So I'm scared. I'm ha I've seen this before, but yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm happy to see you. I'm getting upset. Let's be friends. Hmm, I'm interested. I'm crazy. I feel like the I'm you. getting upset is a neutral position for most cats. I feel loving. I'm worried. I'm mad. Okay, the flute. This is like this is like the eight ways to like jack off your man. <laughs> like you gotta give him yeah. the, the weaving basket. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta grapefruit his ass. This this is my favorite, the Amish butter churner. Oh hell yeah! Oh my god, I had a girl give me the weaving basket. Do not recommend. As Did a, she do it with nail? Oh uh, no, because the yeah. nails go on the outside. No, no, like I'm just like, hey, use your mouth. <laughs> the best hand job is with a mouth. <clears throat> Please and thank you. Because you can do this, Elliot. You could do that. Oh, all and... the people in the steeple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the yeah. In the steeple. Uh. <laughs> Pineapples actually have <laughs> their cephalopods. <laughs> With those uh, two, two, three inch coated in enamel. Mm, hell yeah. That shit you could play most Chinese instruments with. <clears throat> Bam. Improving lawn aesthetics. Here I will use my feet kind of like a sight. No, I... you guys aren't gonna see oh. that. <laughs> I know I know something that I that people I guess think sucks, but I'm I'm okay with is uh I have to I quit coffee. Yeah not drink coffee anymore. Have you gotten out of your way with the coffee? Here's here's Hitler watching the Berlin games high on method. <clears throat> yeah. God. What a what a guy. Uh, dex dexa, me me fe 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 dexa, uh, dexa me fe 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 cool fun. Cool, cool, cool thing is, uh, uh, JFK was also on meth for a lot of his presidency because of his, all of his health problems. A lot of world leaders did and do drugs. Don't let them teach. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Ronald Reagan probably loved his cocaine and jelly beans. Good old white people drugs. No coffee for Lux. Lux, it's okay. We still love you. Now do it. 
Yeah, that means that I'm still loved as well, even though I'm committing. Uh, you're on the you're on the you're on the fence here, buddy. <laughs> you just the... you just quit. You can't quit the cult of the bean. The cult of the bean. I actually I got back out of the cult of the bean, but everybody knows I switched to half calf. Mm -hmm. That's because it's it's not eating my stomach. Uh, other things are. I just said fuck it. Fuck just... it. <clears throat> You'll I've be... had too many years of energy drinks. Like you'll my be stomach back. Got fucked. You'll be back. <laughs> you'll... <laughs> Once your stomach is healed, you'll get a cup of coffee and you'll be like, I miss this. <laughs> I knew you'd be back. I came back after a week and uh, ca coffee was a lot more potent. <laughs> I guess that's the greatest bit though, right? Is if we do come back and you're just like, <laughs> holy shit. If there was a speech writer for Hitler, would he that make them the official grammar Nazi? You better still love me. Lux, I don't think we could ever... You put your honey in your tea, and you, you shush, boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So, other than being in your <clears throat> own way, how, how have you been in your own way? Yeah, well, I don't... So, basically, um, I guess I might as well let people know, because I don't feel like I have, uh, unless you were on my stream the other day, but, like... I had really bad stomach issues for more than a week, and I quit coffee. I quit pump. Ooh, I have so, an answer. Uh, I have an answer for you. You haven't gone to a doctor yet. No, I haven't. But so you should probably. You should... Well, my plan was to do that next week. Like I already. <laughs> You're just already like, planned. I have a major problem. I'll see a doctor sometime in uh, uh, December. December, yeah. But here's <laughs> the thing, like. It's gotten way better. Like, I've had no pains. Gotcha. Like, I honestly think it was, and, was... and I can't say for, for sure, but I think it was a um, <clears throat> peptic ulcer that ended up, um, once I started, when I quit coffee, right? <clears throat> I didn't realize that half of my daily hydration was the coffee. So instead of the morning replacing the water oh, no. i forgot to do that so it, it it progressively got worse and i think now um everything's under control so because i've started to replace that and i've basically when i got rid of my bad habit i i didn't replace it with the necessity like the good habit right and it, was, it went really bad afterwards right um i also i i can't do i can't do spicy food anymore i'm not putting myself through it i'm just jeez dude that sucks no, no i don't even care like here's the funny thing is i i was talking to i was talking to Angie about this where i'm like whenever i have to quit something it, it's usually really easy for me because i don't see any of the materials the foods the things like that as a necessity like i don't feel like i'm missing out on anything none of it's such a part of my being that i need it so nice. if i can't do jalapenos i can't do spicy food I'm anymore offended. i don't care you know spicy. like Spicy food is a free high with a decongestion. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, it feels really good and then it feels really bad, okay? No, it feels like... great the whole time. Like, yeah, you burn the shit out of your mouth, but then you get, like, all this this huge endorphin rush. If you go spicy enough, if you're not pussyfooting around, you get a big old endorphin rush. Pair that with a cold beer. It's a great day. And then all your sinuses just decide to just... <sighs> so you just... It's like a neti pot with, like, some 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 morphine it's great i don't like i don't i i got i guess i get that but like i understand I don't, that if it's eating your stomach yeah chill well i mean for for <laughs> maybe if, if i have a health problem you need some prilosec i'll get rid of anything i don't care you need to you need like, to consume prilosec yeah just prilosec you'll just, if anything but except for sleep you're not you're never gonna yeah. accept sleeping at a regular time no, because cause like that just I means I, I got such a limited lifespan anyways, like I don't got time to do that as much, but I clearly can't accept an hour every night like I have been having for most of these nights, but I can I, accept like four. I realized I have had my headphones backwards since I've owned them. And and honestly, I, I do agree with humor and Lux in one way is that we've gotten to this culture of like the spicier food you eat the we have this like macho nonsense uh, and then also we've created a bunch of dumb fuck things like the carolina reaper that are just not ne necessary they're fun like, i still think that white people food is really fucking bland um, well i mean I, yeah but that, that you don't you don't have to like 
put jalapenos or anything hotter to make it no not bland. And I don't like I don't go much hotter than that. But that's like once in a while it's like, hey, let's get some really fucking spicy curry. And yeah, Zoomer, Zoomer's fucking hyper macho. Doesn't he know fucking I'm, Carolina? I'm plenty Rupert. macho. I shaved my chest. <laughs> it's like you ever seen Zoomer flex? I mean, I don't even make my chili that spicy, but. I mean, I have a, a, a belts, weird, man. weird flex. I just have a really high tolerance for it because I've eaten like relatively spicy, for, spicy food for so long that I was like, I don't notice it. I guess. Well, so. I mean, I have, I have as well. I'm, I'm just feeling the effects right. earlier as a result of a ton of energy drinks oh, over fun. the years. So I like it was really recently. I've started to feel the the burn in the stomach. Uh, that's not good. I've no, never, it's not. I've good. never, I've never felt it. I guess I, yeah, I feel it coming out. Elliot, are you gonna People be? Like, are you gonna be like, gonna, like my? Uh... You're gonna, you're gonna shit that. You're gonna, your cult, your asshole's gonna hate you tomorrow. And I've never like, oh, that that hurts a little. I guess. Speaking of that, you know, what I think's bullshit. People say they always say this shit about Taco Bell causing. Yeah, I've like, never, prob- had, never, 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 never once. once. Uh, if you want to know what causes, oh, what what rallies? Rallies makes me feel ill because it's like. Oh, this rallies is just grease. Rallies is like cat food. It's like rallies is so full of soy <laughs> in their patties. Like most, a lot of a lot of meat. If they're like uh, not advertised, like it, breakfast sausages are a huge, huge crime here. Sausage patties in America, they're largely soy. Yeah, they're fun. Yeah. So like, I swear, rallies burgers are just like half soy at this <laughs> point. Fuck you! It's eighty. Crystals will kill anyone. <laughs> Crystals. Hot it's sauce. a B minus. That's like that's like Frank's. If it's got a name on it, it's pussy sauce. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Naming, it's kind of like uh, naming a restaurant after yourself just like, well, it's, okay. No, this was, I gotta this take a that spi- back this before I sauce. say this. It's a hot sauce. Crystals. I was gonna say, I have, oh, Crystal, okay. I, I, I was about to make a statement that was bullshit because yeah. I like Wendy's. <laughs> I knew that was gonna be bullshit. Dave like Thomas. He, I stopped. After his, after his uh, it was like a Hitler thing, right? Like Hitler and Ava Braun. Dave just wanted his little niece Wendy so bad. If I name a recipe, if I name a restaurant after her, she will love me. Are you me. saying? Are you saying the fucking Wendy's? I thought I thought Wendy's was named after like his mom. I think it's a, like a, a young girl in his life, but I could be wrong about a lot of things. But I mean, that would be so messed up if it was a Lolita situation. Like, no, I don't think it, I, I'm being completely full of shit. Here. I know, I know, I know. I'm I just, just I'm, his daughter, I think exactly. His daughter. Okay, that's <laughs> really yeah. See, that'd be really fucked up. It's like me naming a rest of my my uh, my newspaper stand Aubrey's. <laughs> yeah. We only have we only have those ones with the UFOs on the cover. Those are the ones I like. Wendy oh, was the name okay. of his mom slash wife uh, and his daughter in the. What? Wait, wait, the girl wait. In the picture. Oh, he just made a whole. He just made a thing up. Okay. Then who the fuck is Bob's big boy? <laughs> who is the big boy? Yeah, who's the big boy? <laughs> who is his big boy? Call your car after you Who really then. is Red Robin? I'm pissed. This is Aubrey Suburban. Has anyone ever been to Red Robin? She's been really quiet. I'm starting to worry. No. <clears throat> Elliot. She's learning. She's learning. Let she's, her learn. She's, Let her learn. <laughs> she's hiding. What is she learning? She's- She's learning to to stay the fuck out of my soapbox. Let's let's play a game of hide and seek for two hours. She likes to play hide and seek, and I count super slow because there's three places to hide, <laughs> <laughs> and they're all closets. <laughs> Clever girl. So when I when I search for her, because there's only three places, I take a long time. I'm like, is she in the fridge? Is she in the cupboards? Is she yeah. is she under this blanket? And she oh, laughs. Okay. So, and then I'm like, and then I'll be like, I'm down to one spot, and I'm like, man, I can't think of where she is. I think I'll take a nap, and maybe it'll come to me. And so now she's gonna be like stuck in this closet with me just <laughs> napping for hours. Because you've got resting dad syndrome. Oh yeah, just I just, just figure it out when I wake up. Okay, so I was I was gonna say that that like that naming conventions bullshit, but it's only because I wanted to compare it to how irritated I am that people feel the necessity to like whenever they find a new specimen to like put their fucking name in it oh yeah I and was, i'm like no. I like, I like the tributes better that like tributes are cool <clears throat> i i agree with that but i'm just irritated because usually they're supposed to have to do something with like the you morphology the... or functioning wrath a v moth moth 
No, I don't. I don't want to find a new moth and be like, hey, man, this is the Wrath Amon. No, <laughs> I want to name it for its fucking morphology and functioning that's different than other moths so our scientists can fucking understand. Like, not just, like, shitting out some garbage about my name. Like, I just want to name it something that it's not. Like, this is the Blue Ridge Sea. Oh, just the... Hey, that shit happens, though. I know, I know. That shit totally happens. This is the Blue Speckled Marmagoose, and it's not... It's none of those... It's not blue, it's, just it's not the, speckled, it's the, the speckles aren't it's blue. It's a flower beetle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's just a... <laughs> it's a new kind of housefly. Were you taking a nap? Did you have a good nap? Are you dry? Awesome. High five. How was your nap? Dry. Welcome back to the waking world. I still have half an hour. <gasps> You're stuck! You look well rested and sweaty. Yep. Go stand in front of the fan. Clever girl. We figured it out, guys. She was napping. She was not dry. Hey, she's got a bedwetting problem, okay, Lux? You wanna you wanna shame my child? She still wears pull ups, she's five. You know whose fault that is? Mine. <laughs> well, <laughs> well All these problems start with me. Well, yeah, like her mom and I, like, uh, we would do the nighttime training, but we don't have laundry in our apartments, so it turns into this uh, whole thing where, do you want to just wash bedding every day? I'm not shaming her. I'm shaming you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm a shitty dad, I know. Elliot knows this isn't true. Yeah, I know, the, I know like, hey, these are problems. This is how you solve it. Nope, not going to do that. It's be called being in my own way. Yeah, that's the whole point of the show, folks. He like, said the name of the podcast. I was not even typing. Hey, commands are back, by the way. Yeah, I said the name of the podcast. I, I, I once had those too. <laughs> yeah. Do you need to just log into your? Yeah, you probably need to refresh your token, which means you just need to I log probably in. Probably do. So that's not. It takes a minute. I did. Oh yeah, I did I've it before it. the show. Just in case. Uh. <clears throat> Good said the name of the podcast. Anyway, you know, you know what would be a really good segment for when because because all right, everybody knows this already. Not everybody knows this, but um, because we're moving the podcast to a YouTube video plus audio only format, and we're having another show here. It might be cool to have like if if we're not doing like something like you know gaming related or whatever here, um. It might be nice to just always have the how has chat been their own worst enemy and discuss those. Try, but no one seems to pipe up. Everyone here seems to be perfect all the time. You guys could teach us your ways. What, you don't you want us to help you? Or do we not seem helpful? Then help us, a couple of dipshits. Uh yep. <laughs> uh yep, I'm perfect. <laughs> something something You know, it, I think that's just Zoomer being macho, just being too macho. Something, you something just don't long, want to admit that you, you, you need help with things, and that's totally okay, mm -hmm. Zoomer. You you don't have to tell us anything. Honey, what? You saw a bug crawling outside the window. Can you identify it? Um, I, I can't. If not, I will. You can't what? <laughs> you should don't squish it. There's a huge spider outside the kitchen window that I haven't told her it about was, yet. It wasn't. A... <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> It wasn't a spider, what was it? It had wings? It's clear. Clear wings? Oh, and black. And black. It'd be great the first the first spider to be discovered with wings. How many legs? Wouldn't that be a fucking horror show? Ten legs. What has ten legs with clear wings? You sure it wasn't six? Not a bug. I don't know. What well, has wings with ten legs? <laughs> and why, has, and why, like why is it in Norse mythology? <laughs> why is it in North <clears throat> Why wouldn't Loki fucks the horse? Its baby has six le uh, eight legs. Something. I think it's an, an abomination. abomination. Leif Erikson couldn't go uh, on the expedition with Eric the Red because he didn't answer the riddle correctly. Uh, the riddle was what well, has ten legs and three eyes, and I'm like, what the fuck has ten legs and three eyes? And finally, like one day. 
his dad came back from this expedition years later. Yeah. And, and Leif Erikson was a man. And he's like, do you know the answer yet? He's like, yeah. <laughs> it's Odin on his horse. Uh-huh. Yeah. Take more, more of a nap. But he was a small boy and couldn't go to Greenland. Which is still to date a fuck to death shithole. I, I've never That's, been to Greenland. I'm, 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 yeah, I've I never know. been to Greenland. I just, I just know it's not as green as people say. Yeah, that was all like Eric the Red trying to get people to move there. <laughs> hey, you want to know what they don't have in Greenland? That Vikings yeah. need lumber and wheat. And they're like, hey. You know so they started. They started uh, looking for nations to trade with instead of pillaging because yeah. they need lumber for the long ships. They need wheat for the bread. The whole thing was like, how could you say like our 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 Scandinavian children have never had wheat and their bread in their belly and and we can't have long ships? So they went all over the fuck, right? Finally, they landed in Norway, <laughs> and uh, Eric the, er, Leif Erikson went to the king of Norway, and uh, he's a Christian king. He's like, man, if you were they were climbing a rock face together, they're having a, they're having a meeting while climbing rocks. I don't fucking know why. Prob- <laughs> we're having a rock. So, they're so they're so manly and masculine climbing this fucking fjord. These two Vikings are having. They're probably the, just hiking. Like, they're probably just. Could you the imagine woods. though? <laughs> yeah. Like Elliot, just imagine oh, yeah. the scene. Oh yeah, so these that's two, yeah. These two just, Vikings are climbing. Uh, uh, I need lumber, and my children right? need wheat. <laughs> and they're planning to have it on having brunch together. <laughs> oh yeah. Later after the climb, right? Because they're gonna be famished. Oh, yeah. And they're so, talking about plans. <laughs> But uh, it was it was the king of Norway said I'll give you all the lumber and wheat you want if you convert Greenland to uh, Christianity, and he's like I don't know what that is but that sounds cool, so bring me ten of your men and we'll they baptized them all and they they uh, uh what's the word where you uh where you uh ev- evangelize them I guess they uh they said hey, you're all gonna go preach the gospel and they went to Norway. And they preached the gospel, and they put up Christian churches. And Eric the Red was a salty bastard ever since. I read this book in seventh grade. The end. <laughs> the end. Oh God. But it was cool. It's like they. they uh, it was one of those things where, like, hey, these these people were here in the Americas in the year one thousand and one, like way before Columbus. And they ran into natives, and uh, that's probably what happened to Roanoke. It's pretty cool, like. And I'm like, Chris Columbus was a liar. What? <laughs> what? Uh, it was seventh grade. I was or, or already told that in the sixth, the sixth grade. Anybody remember that obscure cartoon like film, uh, about uh, Christopher Columbus? Like, and and like one of the characters is like like a termite. Like you know, it's weird. It's fucking weird. It, it's about like Christopher Columbus going and discovering "quote unquote" America, right? And being like the Earth is round, and then he had like a termite or something as a as a friend. It was it was wild. It was the nineties. Is this uh? Is this uh? Ooh, did I just find it? No, this looks well too well animated. I heard. Hold up. Hold up. We're gonna probably mute it. Or it's called the Magic Voyage. What's this shit? The Magic Voyage. Link that shit. Okay. What's this? (laughs) 1992 German animated film. Oh, this can't be it then. No, no, it, hey, that's way nonsense. too. That's way too. I'm gonna send you the link. I'm gonna send you the link. Hey, Aubrey, if you're uh, gonna sleep, go go sleep in your bed and not standing right next to me while fake snoring. Hey, Aubrey, guess what? Are you ticklish? Are Once you, you ticklish? see the cover in the link, it's gonna be. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe the termite had. I can't Butthead. remember. Butthead. Yeah. Once you see the cover, you'll know. Oh, it was German though. Of course, you've you've seen all this. Uh, foreign. It was dubbed and, and released here, though, so it's like. I love how like I have 100 megabit internet, uh, with over 10 megabit in upload, but something's wrong with my browser, and I deal with this now. It's got to be browser. Deal with this. I don't want to clear, clear my cookies because it's gonna. It's going to. It's gonna log me out of all of my websites. But hey, Aubrey, if you want to be super loud, could you do it in your room? She's 
She's sleepwalking. What's the, uh, what's the fucking... We're gonna get, we're gonna DMCA'd on this shit. Oh, the God. Magic Boys trailer. Dan oh, it's a trailer. Haggerty was in it. It's a trailer. We're watching it. We're critiquing this trailer. It's all fair use. We just have to talk over it. Oh, God. I've never seen this. <laughs> At your service. Okay, we're good with that. <laughs> yeah, we're good. I'm, we not, get I'm not getting whole... episode 50 taken down over a fucking Christopher Columbus. No, I'm just saying, it, like, there were a lot of 90s cartoons Aubrey. that just talked about weird subjects. She's sleepwalking, guys. It never was And sleepwalk. we're done, yeah, exactly. And... Oh, God. No, but, like, the, the, the cast, like, Dan Haggerty was in it. Like, he played the English dub for, like, uh, King Ferdinand the Fourth. Guys, I think I'm gonna have to wake a sleepwalker. Oh, really? With this invisible bullet. With this 5G bullet. Oh, shit. She's gonna come back out. She's gonna be pretending to sleep. Jim out. Cummings was in it, too. Jim Cummings. Oh, the wife beater. Oh, oh bitch, better have my honey. Jim Cummings yep, is a that shit. that guy. Yeah, he is. Yeah. What a... I know. I just, I just like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> the wife beater, nice. Oh, we're gonna go to the free world and we're gonna enslave natives. That's another thing about your childhood, everybody. It's fucked up. They're all fucked up. Oh, all yeah. the people that you loved who voiced those characters, they're fucked up. Elmo gave continue, some good continue AIDS. By, That's a lie. Continue their legacy by using their voices. Please do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> continue to be Winnie the Pooh. Aubrey, Pete. it's quiet time. It's quiet time. I'm just kidding. You can, you can actually separate that art from it's quiet time like Winnie the Pooh You're wasn't not sleepy, Jim Cummings conception it worked I threatened it my worked. child with nerf not the maverick <laughs> I know you've got a maverick around there magic voyage oh my god I do I do have the maverick <laughs> I didn't know you have a maverick sitting around a six shot Modded I was Maverick. super disappointed when it wasn't a long shot, but I oh. guess it's a Maverick. Because I've seen people mod found Nerf it. guns. Yeah, modded mine. I found mine for five bucks at a yard sale, and I'm like, I want this. <laughs> it was such a it's such a childhood moment where I never owned a Nerf gun. Well, I've I've <clears> seen <throat> people mod the long shot so that they split the darts in the air. Oh jeez. Like they're just going so fast oh. that the darts can't handle it. I want that. All, you all remember the time in the 90s when the Ninja Turtles were on uh, Oprah? What? Oh, God. <laughs> Can you, Was that I, a thing? What? <laughs> I, I, did you see that it took a half a second for me to realize how weird that was? It was just like, oh, yeah, wait. Links was are, that a thing? Exist. <laughs> What's up, Neon? How you doing? Aubrey, turn off the TV. Hopefully you've been well. Jesus Christ, she came out, she turned on the TV. I have not seen it, but all I can expect is, like, the really nasally, like, yeah, voices that they had, right? Yeah, it's radical, Oprah. You know that Raphael's the leader? Calabunga. When, when I was in high school, I went to see Cinderella on Broadway, and Carly Rae Jepsen was starring as Cinderella. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> that made you mad? <laughs> angry cowboy. The fact that there's an angry cowboy mode. Pretty ridiculous. Love it. Oh my god, it just looks like Aubrey. Aubrey. Uh, okay. I know you're not but sleepwalking. Even if you Chill. don't like Harley Ray Jepsen, um Look at this nonsense. This is like gore on uh on Jerry Springer. Oh god and they run like that. Oh, they don't have their shells like because the they're... I remember this! They couldn't have their shells! I guess they do, but they're under... They're small. They have the front part. Is that... That's made of foam, isn't it? <laughs> yup! <laughs> Skip to two minutes. Why? <laughs> Why? This is incredible! <laughs> they all look like... They all look like they're extras in war. Honestly, I, I think that, um, what the fuck? Okay. I just think they had a lot more energy with these things, right? 
He said he's saying do it. Creepy okay. foam. Oh, of course. Yeah, this is hey, America. Before we um. before we do this, remember when uh when uh Oprah would have like little people's re little wrestle on her show for like that she was the problem. Remember when she like, Yeah. Hey, remember when Bill Burr shit all over her? <laughs> yeah, I do remember Oprah's that. Oprah's not a good person by the way. I don't want anyone to confuse that. Is there anything like romantic? I don't give a shit how many Toyota Camrys she gives away. Yeah, that you then had to pay tax on 7 grand. Her audience couldn't fucking afford this free car. The more you get to know the turtles, the more attractive they become. I guess you were lucky if you could then. <laughs> They all screw at April. She is the, the turtle queen. I love that I can't differentiate orange from from red from this oh. fucking this uh, this tape cassette. Um, I, I can, but barely. The one thing, the one thing about the turtles being, being an, a reporter, it's hard for me not to analyze. And the good thing about these guys is that they're not black or white. They're green. Okay, <laughs> they're not black. <laughs> Why is he just in S and M gear? <laughs> it's just like the, the what you know, like you get a special guest on. Like Ellie, you get a special guest on that's so to, specific in their guys, fandom. When I upload this, I'm gonna have to change the license to fair use. Yes. I hope that this doesn't get taken down. But Elliot, you get such a specific person there that your entire audience becomes the fandom. Oh yeah. Like, 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 Oprah doesn't have anybody who's there for just Oprah. It's just all Ninja Turtles fans. Oh, man. And I'll... you don't know how to deal with that kind of audience. Hey, you guys, know? just here real quick to say hi. Happy 50th. Yeah, we... Thank you. Th Appreciate th it. <laughs> Thanks, Hope Numa. You're doing well. It was the best one yet. There were balloons and streamers. Uh, they had a... We had a parade float. Um, Tani Katane was here. In our, in our one person wet t shirt contest. This yeah, this was, was so bad and so. <laughs> you oh, missed man. it. Oh my god. Wow, Elliot, you're happy. You turned at 50. You look great for your, uh, for being so old. I was, that was going to be like, how do I name this one? Could I, like, we're turning 50. Or, I don't know. Yeah, I, uh, I, I met Elliot when he was just turning 40 in community college. Oh, yeah. You whippersnappers with your with your NFTs and your your fucking I don't know. He would <laughs> your, want he would watch uh, all the kids play uh, Street Fighter and he would wonder why don't they just pull out a gun? Why are they fighting? I they watched just the pull out a gun and win. League of Legends and wondered why they don't have girlfriends. Wait, no, <laughs> I know that answer. Aubrey. He would he would he would. He would just tell people randomly, Get. like, why don't, why don't you have a wife and kids yet? Get. You know the economy's good enough. Like, I was able to go to college for, like, Get. no money. I own a house. Yeah, he also fought in Nam, too. But he doesn't like to talk about that. I will wait. She's pretending to sleepwalk, and it's the most <laughs> obnoxious thing she's ever done. Hey, hey, don't don't annoy the neighbors. Just don't Daddy's on his soapbox. Put the gun down. <laughs> Did you fight in that yes I did. I lost both my legs. That's why you you've never seen my legs ever, have you, Lux? And that's actually the real reason why he doesn't wear pants. Like, what's the point? Clever girl indeed. Don't you don't revenge on your dad. That's we're not we're not Christians. <laughs> no revenge. We're not. You we're haven't not. seen the story of Abraham. <laughs> yep, we're not. We're not in an Abrahamic religion. We're not in an Abrahamic cult. Clever girl, indeed. <laughs> There's a place in England that's named uh, Pecknan by locals. What does that mean? Oh, Pecknam. Pecknam. At least that's how I heard it pronounced by. I've heard that name before, Pecknam. Oh man, who wants to watch uh, Ninja Turtles? We could do a watch party, you guys. We could watch the first Ninja Turtles movie. Oh god, don't we? We still have to do a G Gundam. Oh, we do. Yeah. Hey, when are you gonna be around for G Gundam, Tristan? Well, now that my stomach isn't feeling bad. Never. It's a Gundam. It's a Gundam. What was your excuse before? 
Wow, that actually came up before the the chat. I think you gotta like break them in. Vietnam War Pecknum. Oh jeez. <laughs> you gotta you gotta you gotta loosen up <laughs> the is, sound. This alerts. is you mean there's no Tet Offensive Park? Aubrey, I'm almost done. Can you please be quiet? We'll go to the park afterwards. Oh, you 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 suddenly woke up, huh? Convenient. Oh shit. No, you were sleepwalking this whole time. What? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it is a good time. You can't tell mom that I shot you in the neck because you don't remember. Huh? You can't tell exactly. mom that I put the I put the trank in again. You have to tell me the story of sleepwalking. You uh you uh you pooped everywhere. The end. The end. You have to tell me the story of sleepwalking. It's a tell Christmas me, miracle. Uh yeah, she helped she everyone, she peed her pants. Don't you touch that green screen. Don't you touch Aubrey. Please, if you touch the stop. green screen, the farce will show. I said please. You wanna go watch TV? You know, I always thought it was weird that whenever Aubrey was there. Uh, and she would go towards the back of the room. Yeah! That she didn't go to the back of the bar. She'd always like somehow disappear. Like she can't actually go behind you. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not ready it's for not. kid. <laughs> well, you have five years before they start fucking with your green screen. Please stop. Please stop. This thing costs more than your life. It's actually gonna tip over on me now. Yeah, it's it's tipped over. Go make Daddy a screwdriver. <laughs> There's a bar in the back. Hell yeah, I would make my parents clematos. And finally, at one point, I'm like, guys, is this all? Is this the reason you had kids? <laughs> so they could make your coffee and your clematos, your clam diggers. Go make Daddy a Manhattan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, guys, I, that's one really gross thing that I do enjoy. I enjoy Manhattans, but they're fucking gross. It's I've, one of those weird things where I've never you know had, you know like there's certain things that you like that you're like mm. I don't have rye whiskey or Angostura bitters so I can't I can't uh you can't you can't make a Manhattan no what has she eaten <laughs> uh pure pure uh pure coffee arabica <laughs> fruits and vegetables this is the first day <laughs> oh my god I have I'm I'm a little bit perturbed guys. Hey, it's the perfect time to be perturbed. Because it's at the, <laughs> like, that's at the end when you get to yeah, leave. Yeah, because could you imagine if still, it was... You could like, stop pretending to be my friend for four hours a week. Got it. He's I, like, I he's, started talking to you again after I felt bad. <laughs> hey. It's true. The, Show the, the messages are real. The Facebook, the Facebook messages work both ways, Holmes. Thought you were busy with your with your college life and you. He's still he's still sending Facebook messages to me and I don't have one. Just yeah. like, why aren't they coming back? Yeah, really, he never answers me. I sent you that live, laugh, love post and you didn't reply. I can't. Oh, Lux. I know. I like don't, how you're the only one about. laughing, Aubrey. Manhattan's, Manhattans are, are gross, but in a wonderful way. That's it. Time but, out. But it might have been the fact that like nope, the Manhattan I had, or the like the three I had nope. that night, Go. were not the first cocktail I time had. Time out. That might nope. have helped. You're not out. Not right there. Right there. Turn. In the recent years, yep. I had, thank you. It's been a while since I've been. Well, I guess the last time I was drunk was at that like, Angie's businesses like Christmas party. I never. T I wish I had time to tell that story. Do it. We have plenty of time. I've yeah. got a few minutes. I can. I can at least tell you like. I've got a few minutes. Okay, so basically, her business had like this big Christmas party, and they went to like a really swanky place. Nice. And. Like they they were like get whatever you want and and I don't I don't like adapt to that well oh, I don't just be like oh, yeah give me the give me the two hundred dollar bottle of wine like I don't adapt well to people giving me that power I'm like no just give me like the like do you guys and it do have you guys any have like sparkling water <laughs> do you guys have like pop off or five o'clock you know like I don't adapt to like the the bouginess right but uh, I got persuaded because one of the bosses is like sitting there with a the riesling. And like a fucking cocktail, he's double fisting 
a wine <laughs> and a fucking like whiskey cocktail and he's like i'm paying just get whatever and i'm like okay I'm fine. so so i i get like out of your christmas bonus three or four like uh hendrix level like gins just nothing just like just dry right just like no nothing just completely you're, like you're a cool kid yeah and and I didn't even know what the bill was, but like I was pretty I was pretty fucking for Schlitz after that. <laughs> I I was able to kick over my head at that point. Did uh, did, um, <laughs> did your boss did her boss bring out a Detroit Lions plate with uh, neatly cut up lines of cocaine? No, because it was in public. But you know, <laughs> oh, it was my dad. That would be wild though. Oh my 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 dad, yeah. Hey son, do you want any? No, no, I'm good, dad. Oh man. Anyway, uh, yeah, let, I felt good too. Yeah. Uh, let's let's uh, let's do that thing, I guess, where we end it, because now yeah. I have to go. Uh, the talk. park. I have to go talk. To, yeah, the park. The I pack. I don't know if I should take her to the park after that, but I'm probably going to. It almost feels like you're talking to a dog, where you're just like, I don't know about doing mm-hmm. the park. If she has the... to do poopies in the park, I'm not. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's laughing. <laughs> I don't know if we have hey, to go to the. A- no arcade. laughing in time out. Yeah, at least gotta go walk the child. Walk the yeah. I gotta put her harness on. She's finicky. I gotta like trick her into it with some peanut butter. <laughs> All oh, right, man. it's been uh, it's. We've got more stuff on the way, everybody. Um, starting most likely at the beginning of next week. Oh yeah, that's when we're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I'm 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 thinking don't hold if your, you're down for it, don't hold your breath. We guys. can record at the ass crack of dawn on Monday. That'd be cool. Uh, so Aubrey, if you're down, I don't know. Be, yeah. Uh, it's like we seven. Can, I mean, because eight, oh, 8 a.m. We could record whenever, but then that's like, um. I have nowhere to distribute it yet, and I, I don't, I don't want to. Well, I don't want to just go for one of those like this. Pay for this website, and we put it on everyone's web. Well, yeah, that gives you like. And it will take like a hefty fee, or do I have to like go make fifty logins to every single podcast hoster? That gives you like um, uh, like the whole weekend if you want to. I mean, I like can the search whole weekend that you're busy on. the whole weekend. Hell yeah. Fox- I'm with family or anything. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do anything for <laughs> the whole the weekend. I need all 72 hours of the weekend. That's right. I take Mondays. I take Mondays and I take Fridays. Shoes. <laughs> I take... Sometimes I take Wednesdays. Yeah. I guess Thursdays you and, throw, and throw Mondays. It in there. Throw it in there. <laughs> it's right between. Why, why would you uh, break the rhythm? You're not going to get anything done on a Thursday if you're... <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're not gonna get anything. And you know, Wednesday makes you think about Thursday. Right, so fuck. Exactly. And then you know, Tuesday, like you know, it's the, you're kind of like being lazy because you know it's the Monday and you didn't really want to go to work. Yeah, for you're it. still hungover from so, Monday. So really, Monday's the only day you do anything. No, I said I take Mondays. Oh shit! Well, I guess this whole week, every week is just fucked. Mm-hmm. And because I don't have my mic arm, it's just better to do this. I don't even care at this point. Well. <laughs> That's been two hours of pretending a friendship uh, that I'll never. Yeah, get he's back. gonna really rail on this joke. <laughs> it's funny to me. It's real to me. It's damn real it. to me and funny. <laughs> to to only me, and it's gonna alienate you. So I yeah, love it does. It. I love it. Fucking hate it. No. <laughs> You're like that's it. No, I'm serious. Yeah, I'm that's done. it. That's I'm done. Pre- I don't give a shit anymore. I'm done pretending. You guys don't get to see anything. Oh, I can do this too, and mine's not as cool. And, uh, mine's the skinny white version. Dumb stand to it, like. Yours is the bigger, blacker microphone. I'll just carry it like this. I feel like yours is gonna ejaculate microphone microphone sauce all over you. Yeah, I know, and I'm probably gonna lick it all up too because I don't give a shit. It's it's. Yeah, guys. Welcome. Thanks for the, tuning into the last episode ever of Thank the Worst Enemies podcast. That's how we should every. We should just end everyone. Everyone is the last episode. Yeah, welcome to the last episode of Worst Enemies podcast. Uh, we'll see you next week. She is being a treat right now. So.
I got these special 5G bullets after getting the vaccine. Yeah, Lux, I'm pretty hard right now, too. I'm going to just lean back. That's enough. If you want to go to the park, you're going to stop. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for coming to episode 50 of the Worst Enemies yeah, Podcast. Yeah, thank you so much. It's been, Same. It's, it's been so a much. great 25-plus weeks. Thank you for sharing erections with us. Mm, yeah, directions to erections. Uh, be excellent to each other. Please. Or I'll dart gun you to the face. Yeah, you'll get mavericked. Yep. <laughs> I'll six, I'll six, <laughs> I'll, I'll six shot you. <laughs> Later, guys. Dirty Harry, man. The end. <laughs>